Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Co-Elevation Realty. And I just want to do a quick recap on the numbers that have been reported as of the uh, 2023 from Toronto Real Estate Board. And a uh, quick recap, as you probably know, Bank of Canada increased their rate to 4.5. And now they've said they're kind of uh, going to stop. They're, they're fighting this inflation thing. Um, and you can get a fixed rate mortgage somewhere in the four to five range, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, and then variables actually higher, who knew? Um, the big story out of TREB is that, uh, and I'm, I'm really only looking at 416, not 905, but 416 is, you know, we had a big decrease in numbers from a, if we're going year over year. So last January, there was a big spike. And this January, we're looking at uh, prices about 20% down, nothing unexpected because that's where we've been. It's pretty steady actually uh, for the last uh, few months. And where our big thing is, I mean, number of transactions is really low. It's down at 44% or something like that. 3,100 um, transactions in total, big, steep decline. And that's actually causing the market to stay strong and steady. And so um, ironically, you, there's tons of, like you're hearing all the time, I'm seeing it a lot, which is multiple offers again. And that's because our inventory is super low. And there is some, you know, some people sticking in the sand here. The buyers are, are not, some of them aren't coming off the, you know, off the sidelines and sellers are sticking to their prices. So we're definitely seeing some properties that are not moving, um, but the ones that are well-priced and the ones that show well and are in good neighborhoods and, you know, have all the sort of good, good stuff going for them. Listen, it's two, three, five, 10, 15 offers you're hearing now. It's like, Ironically, there is some that are actually still conditional, so you you can get multi, you know three or four offers, and and they're still conditional. So very different than the past. So not like the crazy spike spike, uh, in the in the previous, but definitely quite a lot of movement, quite a lot of action, and uh, and it's good. You know, it's good overall. The stock market's gone up in the U.S. and in Canada, so we're we're in good shape that way. I mean, who knows how long that's going to last. Obviously, lots of doom and gloom, too. You know, I mean, uh, pre-construction has caused a lot of issues with slowdown. Um, and also people, you know, having to close on deals that they bought numerous years ago and the interest rates were a lot lower. So it's not all sunny roses, but there's definitely a lot of in the resale market that it's pretty steady. So we'll see what happens with inventory. I think, you know, January is typically in a traditional year, not last year that was so hot. In a traditional year, it is relatively so slow, so we'll see it pick up, you know, in the March, April kind of timeline. Um, it will be interesting, I think, so far, so good.